Lou Weiss. Lou Weiss here again at uh, NJMEP event at the uh, County College of Mars. And I have with me uh, Dr. Tony Icono. Thank you for sitting down Thank with you. us. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you Thank for being you. here as well. Yeah, this is great. So um, this event is happening here at your uh, community college right. uh, and we heard in one of the speeches earlier that you're building a 30,000 square foot manufacturing uh, facility right. uh, for your student base. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, great. Well, County College of Morris has long had engineering manufacturing programs and we partner with industry in the area as well. Mm -hmm. And what had happened is industry really is expanding, coupled with sure. they're meeting a, a lot of retirements that are going on as well. And then there's a lot of modernization occurring. So there's a big need for an increased pipeline of skilled workers. So um, in those meetings that we continuously have, um, we discovered that uh, we're getting a lot more individuals coming in who want certificates or degrees in these fields as well as people who are currently employed who want updated training and so forth and we've really outgrown our current facilities. Um, what we currently have is about 10,000 square feet. It's very nice, state-of-the-art. Um, you can see the industry influence. A lot of the equipment that's in there came from our industry partners. Um, but to achieve the goal of really helping them to expand and serving them as completely as possible, um, the solution was to simply expand the facility itself and then to bring in new programs. So we're fortunate that we received state and county funding as well uh, some Excellent. of our industry partners stepped up with uh, contributions as well, primarily equipment and scholarship dollars uh, for people to go through the program. And uh, that gives us the ability to uh, approximately triple our space. So we're going to move from a roughly 10,000 square feet to about 30,000 square feet of space uh, on this campus. And uh, it is our hope to open that building in the fall of 19. And uh, we'll be able to serve individuals a lot more completely. This is great. Uh, my uh, co-host, uh, Tim Grady, and myself have been doing Manufacturing Talk Radio now for about great. four years. And we've been talking to people all over the country, mm -hmm. obviously, about manufacturing mm -hmm. and the problems of manufacturing mm -hmm. and the problems of about education right. and uh, it seems as though that we're all beginning to get it right uh, we, right. we really can't rely a whole lot on the federal level but certainly state and county they're really doing uh, some very creative stuff all yes. over the United States right and right. I'm really thrilled to have you sit here with well, us you. and tell thank us a you. little bit about it right. uh, is the enrollment for your program from uh, increasing at the same rate as your square footage yeah <laughs> no we'd love to see 30,000 more students yeah. coming in uh, uh, no one no one enjoys that luxury uh, by any stretch at all but the nice thing though is really the nation as a whole has been on a, a long decline in enrollment and that's really starting mm -hmm. to stabilize and grow again as right. well the um, what's really happening though is you know we've seen some declines nationally in colleges with those traditional I just graduated high school college credit students right. but community colleges are really unique in that we serve those individuals who are a, an associate degree and then transfer but we also serve individuals who simply want to enter the workforce more immediately mm -hmm. or who are a part of the workforce and need to come back for training right. or they want to make a career change and I think people really understand you know manufacturing is a very big word um, it involves a lot of different industries and has a lot of um, different possibilities in there but here's what they often have in common they're great paying jobs and they're local yes. so if you want to you know have an opportunity to you know brighten your own future and that of your families manufacturing is a great place to look uh, a lot of times around the country people hear manufacturing is dead but nothing could be further from That's the truth totally not true now New Jersey has uh, roughly 11,000 manufacturing Manufacturers right. and the United States remains one of the top manufacturing nations in the world today as well. So, Absolutely. yeah, the, the future looks very, very good, and uh, we certainly expect to continue seeing an increase in enrollment for that. Well, we certainly need it, being that uh, the retirement rate sure. and uh, uh, people just not not enough people entering the workforce right. in the first pl in the first right. place, right. and then the retiring rate. So this is really uh, fabulous. Um, I had my uh, a godson mm -hmm. uh, come to Manufacturing Day about two okay. years ago okay. and um, he sat with us and he saw what's going on okay. and the reason why I did it was I wanted to introduce him to manufacturing. That's right. Well, he decided to take radio administration okay. courses and he's now for his school. Okay. He's doing all the sports Very announcing. Nice. That's exciting. So I said to him, uh, 
<laughs> I brought you here for manufacturing. <laughs> but he found but his love. He found, he found his it. Yeah, he really did. That's, he really that's did. one of the great secrets in life. Find, find what you love and follow it. So, Tony, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And good luck. important work you're and doing. When, that. when uh, I hope that uh, we can get on your uh, uh, PR release list so yeah, when your, some yes. other activities come up, sure. we'd love to talk to you again. Uh, we, likewise. Thank okay. you so much. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks for being here right. today. Thank you. Okay.